So changing over the injectors is fairly simple. Once you've got the plastic top cover off, all you've got is two bolts holding the fuel rail on. And then obviously you've got the electrical connections to each injector. So take the connections off, most probably pop these plastic bits here and do your two bolts and then pull the uh, rail free. So these Bosch 550cc injectors um, did need a top hat and it's a bigger top hat. These are a narrow top hat and luckily I had some bigger O-rings. We put the O-rings on and they seem to be sticking inside this rail but it's not ideal. But they are, they are shorter injector than the original so they do need top hats. So do some research on that. But we've put those in, bolted up and now I'm just about to put all the connectors back. So just a little bit more to uh, conclude the uh, fuel injector um, situation. So the fuel injectors I've got in here are Bosch 550cc injectors. Um, so obviously you can, um, can flow more than the standard injector, which is the whole point when you increase power, you, you, you need more flow. You don't want to max out your injector. So um, one thing you don't want to leave to the last minute, I drove the car up slowly, well not slowly, but at low revs up to the tuner and I hadn't changed my fuel injector. When I got there, I was thinking it was going to be nice and simple because the fuel rail was only held on by two bolts. I thought I'd pop it off, pop the new injectors in and everything would be easy. Obviously every, everything never is easy. So what I found out was when I popped out the old injectors and compared them to the new ones, the new ones um, were shorter. So I could have been really stuck. Luckily, what I'd done is I'd changed the, um, I'd put new O-rings top and bottom onto these injectors that I was putting on. I bought these second hand. And if you can see that ridge there, that's actually a top hat that I had in a plastic bag to, um, that I could put on. The top hat then had a smaller, um, o-ring which if left on this top hat just wobbled in this fuel rail so it wasn't going to fit and luckily the I th believe it's the blue I think you've got orange I could be wrong but orange o-rings on the bottom blue o-rings on the top of this injector and luckily I had four of the old o-rings that I'd replaced in a bag and they were able to put those onto the top hat and then use some Vaseline and things and slide those up into the fuel rail and it has sealed. Um, also, I believe you can have um, little metal um, clips that hold the top hat to the O to the injector. Um, maybe they will fit, you can see that moves a little bit, but I haven't had any leaking. So obviously the whole rail, all the injectors are held down by, by two bolts. Um, so I haven't had any problems, but that's something to be careful of you need you need the top hats to make these work to make them the same size as the original injectors and you also need the bigger blue o-rings on the top of the top hats to make them fit into the fuel rail so if you've got all that then it should be fine don't leave it to the last minute get to the tuner and have all that worry because you might not have the parts with you luckily i did and it was as simple as putting it all together and um and off we went all the plugs and everything all these plugs were exactly the same they connect, connected straight in didn't have an issue so all that was fine so there wasn't a problem